Richie and Sabrina are crazy about each other and they've wanted to get married since forever. I'm still like very attracted to Sabrina and tell her every day. Now they're getting 10,000 euro towards their big day, but there's a catch. They've agreed in the presence of a lawyer that Sabrina will have no hand in her own wedding. Richie, you understand that he will have to organize every detail. And he has to do it all in just three weeks. Without his best friend and soulmate, how will he cope? My head is melted. After 18 years together, this is one situation where this poker player won't be able to bluff his way through. I don't know whether she's even ever been on a boat before. We got it wrong. I know she's probably baiting me if I get it wrong. With Richie in charge, it could be a painful three weeks. This is actually torture. And the most important thing, don't tell the bride. Richie Kelly and Sabrina Tyrrell are childhood sweethearts who grew up together in Ballymun in Dublin. We met 18 years ago. I was 14 and Richard was 15. 18 and a half years. 18 and a half years, yeah. yeah. The attraction was instant, if not entirely mutual. Fancy that, yeah, of course I did. I think we were only going out with each other about two weeks or something at that age and I told her that I loved you, I think. Um, and and she I ran didn't. a mile. She ran a mile straight there with leg on me, but I caught her there. And he held on to her. 18 years later, two have become six, and now they live in Cavan with their four children. It's a love story that has stood the test of time. I know by the carry-on of the two of them that they love each other, and they have done for a long time. Kisses and hugs and holding hands, and like you really wouldn't think they were together for 18, 19 years. Like they're still in the honeymoon period, you know what I mean? but there can't be a honeymoon until there's a wedding. We've wanted to get married for years. Like the past good few years, we've been telling the kids every year, we're getting married next year, we're getting married next year, and it just never sort of happens because of the few Bob and all that bits and pieces, you know? Saying it is one thing, but now it's for real, and the kids are still getting used to the idea. Andrew's sort of excited by trying to act cool, I think, you know? Can we do it? I didn't expect this to happen at all. Aoife is just over the moon. It was quite shocking when I first found out. But I think my dad would do a good job. At least somebody has faith in him. So who's normally in charge in this house? Oh, Sabrina's the boss in the house, without a shadow of a doubt. Richie might say he is. Me. No, you're not. Well, for the next three weeks, Richie is definitely in charge of the wedding arrangements for better or for worse. From the time he was a child, if he had something to do, he'd say to me, will you tell me what to do, Mammy? He just needs a good kick up the backside sometimes to get the decisions out of him. And this bride will not be easy to please. I've never met anybody as fussy or as particular. Everybody used to call me Monica, the Monica from Friends. She is a maniac about cleaning. Everything has to be clean, everything has to be organised and everything has to be perfect. So what chance do their family and friends think Richie has of pulling this off? I think he'll have one or two little meltdowns. I'd say he'd be panicked, as any man would, or should, <laughs> be in this situation. Whether he has two years or not, or three weeks. I think he's mad. <laughs> Absolutely mad, it wouldn't be me. You know me, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, well, I hope you do. Well, you should after 18 years. Hmm, hard to tell if that was a question or a threat. But the countdown to the wedding starts today. And the man who says I love you every day must move out for three weeks. No contact until the big day. I think it's going to be very hard. I need to cry. It'd be hard, but it's worth it. It'd be worth it. <laughs> and right now, Goodbye seems to be the hardest word. This is what I was dreading, the part I was dreading. I knew I'd dread it as much as I do. Sprint is great at trying to hide things, you know, bottle things up with our emotions. Um, I say she's probably feeling a bit rough. No, I can't believe this actually happened. Waited so long for this. And it's, sorry. <laughs> but three weeks will fly in, and I trust him, and he'll do well.
Richie has barely left the driveway, and the prospect already seems too painful to imagine. I didn't think I was going to cry, to be honest with you. It's just not a nice feeling at the minute. But this family has waited a long time for this, and there's no turning back now. No regrets at all, unless he messes it all up. <laughs> then he'll have big regrets, yeah. Richie is staying with his sister's boyfriend in Navan. They have never spent more than three days away from each other, and on those three days, we're on the phone to each other. This no contact is going to kill him. I can see him just having a complete meltdown. But his new housemate, Simon, has everything a man needs to get back on his oxters. A can of beer and a sympathetic ear. It's only three weeks, man. Yeah, but it's not, I just had to, just hitting now, you know what I mean? How hard it's going to be, so. Just get the ball rolling and get stuck into it, and hopefully it won't take too long to get it all wrapped up. Yeah, hopefully. Hopefully it'll show you, you know what I mean? Richie has three weeks and counting to plan this wedding but it's not going to keep him from his poker night with the lads. He loves watching films. He's a big James Bond fan. He loves hanging out with his friends as well. When he gets the time to, he'd go round to his mum's house and he have a room built out the back. It's called the Man Cave. And that's where the men go every Friday night to play their poker. And it's at the poker table in the Man Cave that Richie gets his first bolt of inspiration for a themed wedding. My team is sort of based on uh, James Bond Casino Royale. I want all the lads in black toy tuxedos. I'll have an Aston Martin DB9 for the day, which is the James Bond card for photographs and stuff like that. Poker themed, basically, yeah. James Bond, casino? Just who is Richie planning this wedding for? Poker part of it is one of my main interests. It's important to me, but it'd be great to a lot of the guests because a lot of the lads would be into the poker as well, you know. And what about the bride? Oh yeah, I'd say she will like it. I'm not too worried about that now. So for Richie, the most important part of the day is a casino. Surprise, surprise, Sabrina sees things differently. When everybody looks at you, the first thing they see is your dress. Like, to me, that is the most important thing of your whole wedding day. Before I left the house of Sabrina, the one thing she did say to me was, if I get the dress wrong, she's not wearing it and she's not marrying me. So, uh, I thought that was a bit harsh now, you know? <laughs> so, armed with the harsh truth, Richie is off on the wedding dress trail with the aid of his trusty best man, Alan, who knows as much about dresses as Richie does. Nothing. I say she wears it to stick it out. She wears it up well, unless it's absolutely manky. I'm feeling nervous now. The old belly's starting to go. The dress I'm looking for, I think, is going to be... I don't know, it goes down a lot, sort of to nearly our bum, I think. What's the budget for it? I don't know, as cheap as we can get it. I had a, a, a number in mind though. About 200 quid. <laughs> Sabrina has waited all her life to pick out her wedding dress, and today she gets the chance. The only thing is, she's not allowed to buy it. The type of style of dress I like would be a figured in dress. I don't want a dress to drown me. I want to wear the dress, I don't want the dress to wear me. Okay, so if you want to make a start at okay. trying on the dresses. Okay. Oh, that's real? Cinderella, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, castle. You need a Can castle try that for that. on for just to see? Oh, look at that. I don't think the men actually realise how important your dress is. And it's only when you actually go and try one on and make sure it fits well to your body like it really, really is so important and I don't think a man will ever, ever get the grasp of that. Now what makes her say that? Is she looking for something traditional or what sort of shape are you thinking of? Um, well I don't know what traditional wedding dress is, you know what I mean, or what it means. Um, not a big huge puffy thing. Oh dear, Sabrina's first choice appears to be big and puffy. <laughs> I love this. The yeah. Line on yeah. The this is lovely. It's an absolute stunning dress, but no, it's 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 not for me. It's not it's not my dream dress. I just would like Richie to go look for a garter because he get lost. <laughs> he probably won't come back out. <laughs> Actually, it's hard to imagine Richie being any more lost than he is right now. No, I don't like that. You don't like that one? No. Okay, next. No. Nope. No. No. I mean. Finally, they realise where they're going wrong. Right, I think we need to get a woman to help us. We could get married in a field as long as our dress is all right. I think she would, you know. She's hardly going to want to look brutal on the day. Yes, brutal isn't really in for brides this season. Richie is suffering from the curse of the indecisive man. 
too much to choose from. Then suddenly, an idea. I like uh, a corset back. Okay. All right, that you pull closed. This one, you've got a corset back, a fitted dress that goes into a train. With the corset back, does it be pulled tight like that on it, or will I be it be will, open a bit? It'll be open slightly. So going you can still see a bit of skin like going see, down. Oh, yeah. While Richie gets up tight over corsets, Sabrina may have found what she was looking for. Oh, trail. Oh, trail. That's, that's the dress what you've been I've described to me. Down to a T. Oh, I'm really crying looking at it. The lace and all at the top. Yeah. That's it, Matt. I'm put it on me. <laughs> oh, get the dishes. <laughs> oh, it's fabulous. Oh, this is actually torture. To torture herself further, Sabrina hits the fitting room. She can try and she can cry, but she just can't buy. It's fabulous, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, oh, this is horrible. Fabulous. <laughs> don't don't be this. thinking that he's not easy. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? He, he, you don't know. He might. <laughs> if he doesn't, we kill him. We will. <laughs> You'd be sorry. You'd be <laughs> sorry, man. But the impossible can happen, and Alan and Richie have found a dress that's almost identical. This one? Yeah, it's hard. I like the top of that bit. You like the lacy top? Yeah. That's nice. But has that got the corset back thing now? No. Just what is it with the corsets? When you come in, you saw the corset back and you liked it. Yeah, but I love uh, lingerie, so it reminds <laughs> me of that a little bit. He's just thinking about undoing it at the night time, that's all. <laughs> boys will be boys. Meanwhile, Sabrina doesn't want to leave the shop without her dress. Yeah, that's that's your dress, then, if you don't want to take it off, that's no. your dress. Oh, God, I'm pray, I pray, I pray, I pray. You get to this way. This is gorgeous. It'd be a pleasure, a pleasure to wear this all yeah. day, all day long. Could Sabrina's prayers be answered? I, I thought I knew what I wanted, but... Now you see them all. Yeah, I'm a bit all over the shop now. My head is melted. Meanwhile, Sabrina's still not going anywhere without that dress. Everything about it was just perfect, every single day. And I don't want to actually leave the shop without it. So... I just hope he gets her right. I really, really do. So what do I want to do? Do I want to make a decision now, or do I want to wait to see somewhere else? I'm afraid if we decide now, it's going to be a bleeding disaster. Who says he's indecisive? He's decided not to decide yet. Richie leaves empty-handed. He's afraid to spend money. He'll be counting his pennies, and he'll have everything written down. Maybe it's time for Richie to look at his budget. 11,000. Right, so we've a grand to my father. So he has to be careful not to do anything too outrageous. Well, I want to get an Aston Martin. Maybe not to, to drive in just for photos, for that, the whole effect, because... You know, that could be expensive. Yeah, but they're not yeah. Is that do, to fit in with the James Bond? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's an expensive car. He's going to have to chop something out. I don't know what, yeah. So I think he's going to struggle with that. And that's maybe where he'll start panicking. Right, rings, I haven't even got anything down. i pluck a figure so as we get something. I don't know, I don't even know how much wedding rings are or what you'd spend on them. Well, you can spend anything from 50 quid to 5 grand. 10 grand to get married. I'm not too confident about that. All the stuff you have there, there's not a lot of giving them. I mean, you, you might get 30 quid. Let's hope he knows what Sabrina is expecting for her big day, because her bridesmaids are about to find out. They're on a visit to a country manor in County Meath. The type of venue I'd like would be elegant and classy and sophisticated and something that would blow people away. But your wedding venue should be completely different from your average normal hotel. I wouldn't like a venue where there's loads of hustle and bustle and on the main street of a town. That's a shame, because with casinos and Aston Martins on the cards, Richie has decided to go for something more cost-effective. We have to be practical. That's what we're looking at now. I mean, we know we love big, huge castles, and that's what Sabrina probably wants, but um, um, a bit of imagination might look like a castle. <laughs> <laughs> the worst thing that happened for me is if I was to stand at a bar at my own wedding and see someone that, I'm like, who, yeah, who's that? Like, who are they? So this is our bar area here. This is where all your guests would arrive for drinks before your reception. And then this is your residence bar then afterwards as well, OK? okay. Would the bar be for just the wedding guests or the hotel guests as well? Well, it is a public bar, so other guests can come in if they wish. No danger of that at Sabrina's venue. Clonabrini House is exclusively for private hire. 
Oh my God. It's out of this world. It really, really is absolutely fabulous. I can't get over it. I really, really hope he picks something like this. I really, really do. It's stunning. You think about this for so many years and you're actually standing here and you're seeing it all and you're just hoping and praying that he actually picks this. As Richie surveys the Ardboyne's function room, he's less concerned with the niceties and just wants to know one thing, where he can put a casino. So this is where I'm thinking might be ideal for your casino. Very good. Yeah. yeah. So you can have the use of these two rooms. This is perfect. It's cool, cool isn't it? Be enough yeah. space yeah. for... I reckon this would be perfect Yeah. For yeah, Whatever. even when, when you're walking in, we did the two pillars here and just above, we could have like a sign up over it or something yeah. for air casino name or something yeah. Yeah. To, to make it look cool, you know? Just what every bride wants, her own gambling den. Sabrina is hoping for a bit more romance for her wedding day. So Sabrina, this is <gasps> the bridal suite. Do you like it? <laughs> oh my God. Oh, wow. Ah, the bridal suite. So how does that fit into Richie's James Bond Casino Royale theme? I really never thought of sort of the bridal suite as part of the, mm. the thing. It just didn't dawn on me, you know? Well, he might just need that Aston Martin as a getaway car because Sabrina's heart is set on a swell country manor. This is just, just out of this world. I don't, I've never seen that like this before, like. Do you think Richie be able to take a step back and put himself into your shoes, Sabrina? Yeah. Basically. Yeah, I could see him doing that. So I think, think she, yes. Yeah. But right now, Richie has found his casino and he's going for a deal and a masterclass in bargaining from his dad. As they say in business, make us a deal. Well, we would obviously love to have your wedding here. Okay. okay. So with that in mind, okay, I'll just round it off to it, the nearest figure. If I did it for 30 euro a head by your 110 guests, that's 3-3. Three, three. That is as low as I can go. What that's about around figure 3,000 and we'll really consider it? Absolutely consider that. That means we, we don't have to think of figures. Three thousand, we don't have to go three, what was it, three something? Three thousand is a nice round figure. Oh God almighty, I'll be shot. We'll say three thousand, that's for 110 guests. Yeah. Okay? Okay. Okay. All right. That's as low as I can go. After that, I may be looking for another job. Thanks very much. <laughs> but has he forgotten that there are two people in this wedding? I was nearly thinking on five grand for a venue. This gives me two grand back to spend on stuff I didn't think I had, which is believable. Mm. <laughs> That's on the casino. <laughs> but this is Richie, and once again, no decision is made and nothing is booked. If he does make the wrong decision under pressure, you know, he has Sabrina to answer to at the end of the day. Richie is on a roll, and the top table at this wedding is likely to have chips on it. He's found a place with a casino for hire. But is a themed wedding really what's needed here? I think if you're having a themed wedding, I think the, the two people need to be discussing that. But surely if the bride loves poker, it's OK. She's never showed any interest in poker at all. The thing is, she knows this is a, a thing that I enjoy. She's so. probably like bingo or something, so it's close. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go in and try and um, get this chap to give us a few tables for as little as we can get. The tables are going to be similar to this, right. okay. but they're not going to be the same tables. We just need to know now off you price-wise, what's the best you can do for us because we've just been on a tight budget in any way. The lowest I'll definitely go is 450. I wasn't right, planning. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't planning on the five. Funny how quickly he could make that decision. The first thing Richie spends money on is some casino tables. Now we can get on with the more important things like the wedding dress or confirming a venue. Yeah, right. What man is going to do that when there's an Aston Martin to look at? Well, what I'm hoping for is to be going out here today knowing that I'm going to have an Aston Martin at my wedding. I'd love to be able to show up in the morning at the church driving the Aston Martin, do a few donuts in the car park or something. Actually, the secret is out. Sabrina is not the only love of Richie's life. He's mad into his car, his Honda Civic car. If I, I don't know how I haven't put a match to it at this stage. Richie may drive a Civic, but James Bond drives an Aston. And on his wedding day, Richie wants to be 007. So there goes another 250 euro. Having the car means an awful lot because I budgeted for it as well. And it's just all about the effect, you know what I mean? Yeah, so it's important to me, yeah. He has a casino. Now he just needs a bulletproof car. 
Actually, he's finally remembered the bride's wedding dress. This time, he's bringing Brian. It's about time Richie listened to the voice of reason. What would she do if he didn't get it right? What can she do? <laughs> Just to go and get married and it's simple as that. That wasn't the voice of reason. Sabrina fell hook, line and sinker in love with a slimline lacy gown, but she has her doubts about Richie's fashion sense. So for him to actually choose that perfect, perfect dream dress, I think I'm taking a big, big risk. This could be 007's most dangerous mission yet. Ah, yes, the corset is back. Not exactly slimline and lacy, though. Just say it. No. No. It's a bit too fluffy. Good man, Richie. Next, a touch of lace, the bride's favourite. Oh, yeah, that's nice. It's a gorgeous little shape. Little A-line shape, it's beautiful. Will we go to the next one? Yeah, keep going, we'll have a look yeah. at them on. At this rate, he'll be trying every dress in the shop. Yeah. What do you think of that one? That's nice as well. And if it's slim line and lace that you're after? It's a mixture of satin and lace. Yeah, that's nice as well. That's nicer than the second one. Is it the elegant shape? The beautiful design? I'm actually saying it's a bit like a Bond girl dress. Not the Ursula Andrews bikini now, but a bit like a Bond girl dress. She could probably buy that. <laughs> <laughs> when he explained it to her. <laughs> it's perfect. Just one problem. Richie isn't paying with a Secret Service credit card. He has to find the money in his budget. So I was going to do the dress, the fail, and the shoes for 800. What about the ostrich? If you were talking about the ostrich, it would be a thousand for all. No. I couldn't do nine. No, no, definitely couldn't do any I'm better. I'm telling you, than for that. the price of dress, I've been looking around okay. and the price well, of dress. And I'm making, yeah, I made the decision because of the whole lot, the oak, the shoes, the whole lot, definitely. Thank you. <laughs> nice one. The dress, the hair yoke, the ostrich, the veil, the shoes, and the garter are all in the bag for a thousand euro. I think Sabrina's going to be absolutely bowled over by that dress. I really do. Yeah. I think there'll be a lot of tears that day. Yeah, it will be, yeah. Hopefully of joy. Meanwhile, back in Bally James Duff, the day can't come quick enough for Sabrina, who wants her soulmate back. The first week, yeah, I missed him. I missed him terrible. And I have to say, the two weeks that he's gone, it's like two months. Two years, maybe, not even two weeks. It's gone so slow. But it's a week before the wedding. I've heard nothing. I'm waiting now, this week, for my invitation. I hope it comes soon so I can get excited and delighted and sort of start planning because I'm still in the land of not knowing nothing. She may not know anything, but Richie's in the world of not doing anything fast, although he has made the decision to marry Sabrina in their local church. She's convinced that we're having a civil ceremony, but I sort of want the whole day to sort of be the proper wedding, which means the big church wedding, which I think will surprise her and I reckon she will love. It's a bit weird to um, think the next time I'll be in this church I'll be standing at the top of waiting for Sabrina. Yeah, I knew from the start that it was going to be hard at not seeing her, but... The no phone calls and the no talking whatsoever. Uh, yeah, it's just brutal, so... I'll be over the moon when I can... grab her again. So with only a week to go, he has some casino tables and an altar but still no venue. If I thought Richard hasn't booked the venue by now, he'd be a big tick. But it's a big decision for a very indecisive groom, and having seen what he can get with Brian's negotiation skills, he's decided against the Ardboyne Hotel in favour of something more romantic. What I'm aiming for is something spectacular, for little or nothing. Just something that'll really impress, not just sort of the run the mill hotel. I want something that looks like a million euro or something, you know. Farnham Estate looks like a million euro, but it's a 10 grand wedding. But they are getting married on a Tuesday, so can he cut the deal of the century? And this whole area is an exclusive area just for your wedding guests. There's nothing else happening over here on the day, so your guests have this whole area for themselves. So it's a nice little bit of exclusivity for your yeah, day yeah, as yeah, well. Yeah. And then obviously you were mentioning the casino tables. Mm. So we were talking about maybe having the casino tables in this area here yeah, as well. Yeah, down here, from separate room, yeah, away definitely. from the main from room. From the main room. Classy, secluded, and with a separate room for the casino, boxes are being ticked as long as the function room checks out.
At the moment, it's actually divided mm. into a smaller room okay. because we just have a conference on today. I actually have a picture of it set up in its capacity, so it'll make it easier for you to actually to see what we're looking at. If you see the dance floor right. there in the centre, and you have your three alcoves then in the rooms mm. with the backdrop as well. I have to say, it's not something that I was um, thinking of for a wedding room, but I really like it. But there's one important box left to tick, and Richie has never been playing for higher stakes. What is good news for you is that your wedding's taken place on a Tuesday, which means it's midweek. So you're entitled to a 10% discount for midweek. So basically, your 59 euro package becomes 53 euro. I have about four and a half grand, which is talking about 45 ahead. Okay, so 45 ahead. What you could do is you could look at what's included in your package. You could maybe say, okay, I don't want a five course menu. So that's bringing it in at your budget of, mm. of your 4,500. Mm. At this point, Richie knows that every euro counts. Now, if we were to keep the starter yeah. and knock the sparkle in wine, you'd still yeah. be looking for 47 euro. 47, yeah. If we could squeeze you to 46 euro. Because our budget is... Because we're just 16. Our budget is, like, if 50 quid is going to make mm. a difference because we cannot spend anything extra, okay. so that's where we're tight. Because your wedding is taking place next week, mm. it's an unusual circumstance, because of that fact, we can we can do it at 46 for you then. Okay. Okay. Deal. Right. Deal. Don't mind that. <laughs> Job done. And a deal that even Brian is proud of. The hotel goes great with the team. The likes of the Aston Martin sitting outside the hotel for photos is going to look fantastic. Next, Richie has come up with a special mission for his best man, presumably known as 006, and a novel way to invite Sabrina to the wedding. Where the fuck are you going? <laughs> Oh, don't tell me I'm going out in the lake. I don't want to go out in the lake. Oh dear, this invitation could turn out to be a damp squib. Get in and enjoy the ride, then look for the log house on the other side. I haven't told you, this won't take too long. Excuse that. Maybe this isn't going as well as Richie hoped. After the romance of a boat ride in sub-zero temperatures, Sabrina reaches her destination. My dear Sabrina, you're invited to attend our wedding on Tuesday, the 4th of December 2012. I love you and miss you lots like the biggest <laughs> bleeding jelly tots you've ever seen in your life. I can't wait to see you on the day, please don't be late. I love Richard. When I get married on Tuesday, it's actually happening. I can't believe it. Cheers to Richie. <laughs> if this is just the start of it, I can't wait. Can't wait. So excited. So his rather wet approach to wedding invitations paid off. Now, what's he got planned for the bridesmaids? The approach today is where, where the girls are concerned is basically uh, do what you're told. Yeah, my decision is final. I'm not having any arguing or listening to any crap, you know, so. I'd say to be a bit of a... <laughs> Scuffle going on there. Oh God, it's going to be a nightmare. Game on. The type of dress I'd like for them, definitely long length. Colours wise, maybe purple or biscuity colour. What do you think of purple? No. Oh, what? what do you think of green? No. What is your colour? What, what colour? The colour that I was thinking, right? You know the um, Galaxy Bar chocolate colour? That colour? The purple? No, that's Dairy Milk. That's Dairy Milk. Oh. Galaxy Bar. Brown, brown. The goldy browny colour. What if we can't see that colour? We're going to look hard. He may not know his dresses, but he knows his chocolate. There's no browns. There's no the colour he's looking for. Why are you picking brown? Like, have you got everything else brown? No, I want that colour. I like that colour. Is there a colour scheme, Richie? Um, no, it's not that there's a colour scheme. It's just I like that colour. Why don't you just try a different colour? Have you any in mind? Probably green. Probably green. Yeah. Aoife has managed to talk Richie out of chocolate-coloured bridesmaids. The girls might be a handful, but Richie wasn't expecting an eyeful. I have a problem. What? Our boobs are too big for them. <laughs> Very boob malicious. <laughs> <laughs> that, no, we're not even looking, man. <laughs> no. 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 no, no, yeah, sure. we're not even looking. <laughs> Maybe Richie has a favourite bridesmaid. To be honest with you, out of a whole lot of them, I just hope Aoife is happy more than the rest of them. 
So if she's happy, you like that one now? Okay. Not too short for you? No, I really don't like this one. Right, that's the colour we're going with, all right? Richie's priority might be his little princess, but the other bridesmaids aren't giving in. I think it's too dark. Right. But I will wear it because it mm. is a nice dress. But for bridesmaids, I think it might be just a little bit too dark. Yeah. He nearly made it. Now back to the drawing board. But now Richie's priority is not the colour of the dresses, it's the colour of money. Right, first thing to do, look at prices. 70 euro. No way. Great. We want them. They're perfect. I know, we they're lovely. Thank heaven for little girls. It's a deal. But what will Sabrina think? She'll either like them or she won't like them, but Aoife liked the colour of her dress, so that's why we went with the others. So I'm happy with that, you know. Time for some well-deserved fun at the Stag and Hen. Fortunately, after 18 years, Richie should know exactly what Sabrina needs for a good day out. I think at the back of Richard's head, he'd probably want to play it, play it safe. He probably want to do all this for me, and not want to upset me. No, she's not the outdoorsy type. So that's why I thought it'd be great to send her where I send her for her hands. I personally think he's going to do something mad. He wouldn't enjoy hovercrafts, you know what I mean? I'd love to do it myself. Hovercrafts? Yeah, because the trip on the lake went down so well. I'm not a big sporty person, so activities, no. I think I saw a ho hovercraft on the picture back there. Yeah, yeah. That's a yeah. hovercraft. Yeah. Long yeah. shite. Ah, yeah. No. She wanted a hen to die for. Instead, she'll just have to live to die another day. I'm going to kill him. If I don't kill myself. His is an Aston Martin. Hers is this. <laughs> maybe Sabrina's getting the hang of it. Or maybe not. Oh, I, I don't know, I can't do this. You can't do it. Oh. You got it wrong. I'm shaking, I'm freezing. I didn't enjoy that at all. Not at all. Speedboats, hovercrafts. Can she read the clues to the Bond theme? If I could do anything else, with the wedding to water, like swim somewhere or get on another boat or, no, I've had enough of water. But is he pouring cold water on her dreams? I think because this is all supposed to be fun and games and laugh, but the wedding I think will be a bit more special. I hope. Well, it better be, or you will be getting strangled. There doesn't seem to be much water involved on Richie's stag. And hovercrafting seems a lot safer than this. This is the, the first time in this whole three weeks that Richie has no control over what happens. So we're kind of going to you know, let her rip a little bit with him, you know what Poor I mean? Poor Richie. He has a lot to get off his chest. Mostly hair. Sabrina, me diddy is killing me. <laughs> first one was all right, and then Mark done a slow one, and that just... Popped off then and that was it. The wedding is getting closer. Is the groom ready? I'm waiting for the nerves to kick in about it now, you know, so... Yeah, I feel good about it. At the start of all this, I knew he knew me inside and out, but at the hens the other day, everything was just totally out of the blue for me. I got shocked. And if he can't get a simple hen right, what chance is there for the more important things? Today, Sabrina is in Coot Hill County Cavan to see her dress for the first time. Just thinking about it, God, did he get it right? Did he get it right? Did he get it right? Will it suit me? Will it fit me? It's just unreal now at this stage. I can't believe this is the dress that I have to wear, no matter what it looks like. And don't be worrying. You'll be fine with us, OK? Sabrina isn't the only one feeling a bit nervous. Don't start crying. Yeah, because I'm going to start as well. I hope she gets this right if I read it now. Because it stopped. <laughs> Sorry. I'm going to kill her. <laughs> She's not the only one blindfolded either. No. Oh, oops. Oh, oh my gosh. Just a wee step. Shoes. Oh! <laughs> 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 
dress to kill and shoes to die for. But there's more to come. You just have to close your eyes again, Sabrina. Okay. Just one more little present for you. Has Richie gone too far with the ostrich? Open your eyes. <laughs> we'll take that as a no. Oh, wow. I feel like I should be... Go to the Oscars, yeah. yeah. Oh, it's fabulous. Go to the chapel and we're going to get married. He's done an amazing job, absolutely amazing. Like, it's even better than the perfect dress I picked. I'm dying to see him, can't wait to see him. Three weeks is a long, long time. Really long time. You've done really well, babe, really, really well. Oh, can't wait to see you tomorrow. Glamorous, sparkling and elegant, this bride deserves an Aston Martin. There's just one problem. Um, day before the wedding, less than 24 hours to go, and I've been let down with the Aston Martin car. So, uh, just online now, looking to see can I find another one, short notice, so fingers crossed. Yeah, I probably am a bit more worried about the car now than the dress. Can't do anything about the dress, the dress is bought. Um, I'm still hoping to get the car. We'll just see how it goes, you know. It's not looking good for the car, but however they get there, the lads still have to look good. Yeah, happy. Yeah, looks well. Yeah, there you go, perfect. Is that one we all stand in the mirror? Oh, yeah. 006 and a half, little Connor steals the show. Very good, lads. Mm -hmm. Deadly, yeah, no, delight now. I'm just looking forward to it now. Just can't wait for see Sabrina at course because I'm really missing her now at this stage. Hours to go, and as Sabrina and Richie's sister Christine get together, they're starting to worry. I hope he actually does something for you as well as himself. You know Richie, what he's like with is James Bond and his poker and you know if you go in and there's like decks of cards all over the place and poker tables all over the place. <laughs> like, they may know. laugh. But for Richie, a James Bond wedding really is the icing on the cake. So what do you think of the cake, ma? What's the story with 007? It's part of the team. Does Sabrina like James Bond? I do. So if the James Bond is for you, yeah. what's for Sabrina? What do you mean, what's for Sabrina? She's getting married. He wouldn't do that, though, would he? He has ten grand. Sabrina can do what he wants. Yes, he can. <laughs> the morning of the wedding, and Sabrina is determined not to let anything rain on her parade. Oh, the afternoon. Sure doesn't matter. <laughs> We'd be indoors, hopefully, but not on a hill or outside. outside. But at his mother's house, Richie is feeling shaken, not stirred. Bit of a nervy belly, all right, but it's just. It still doesn't feel like it's blading. Yeah. Are you looking forward to it? Yeah. Can we? Yeah. Are you looking forward to seeing Sabrina come down the aisle? Don't say I come down the aisle. Just, just doesn't feel real, man. It just really doesn't feel real. For Sabrina, it's all getting a little bit too real. I don't know where my dress is. I don't know when that's arriving or who's bringing it. I don't know where my flowers are. I don't know what I'm getting picked up in. I haven't a clue of that. So this is just going to be a day of surprise after surprise after surprise. Meanwhile, Brian is giving little Connor his marching orders. Now you start walking, nice and slow, one second, two second, three, five seconds. Richie has sent hair and makeup for the bridal party, but unfortunately someone's left the bridesmaids' dresses in the shopping bag for a little too long. Our dresses need to be ironed. <laughs> what do you mean they need to be ironed? You only got them this morning and there's creases in them. And I can't iron, and you can't iron them because uh, you can't see them. You can't see them. Are they badly crease? No, but you will need to be ironed. I was afraid to touch them without anyone being there just in case something went wrong. Or was the one has a big iron mark stuck on the front of her dress. <laughs> Over at Richie's, tears are forecast for later this afternoon. The both of them are going to start bawling on the old I know there. <laughs> I think they'd be just so happy to see each other that I don't think they'd be able to speak, the two of them. It'll all hit him then, I think, you know, the last three weeks. And he'll... Uh, Blubber all over the place. If he doesn't know, then I'll be surprised. Back at Sabrina's, Lynn still has a few problems to iron out. No, that should be all right. Yeah, I think. Oh, God. Just put it on a real... Like, don't even put it on a like, fully kind of... Just... I'm afraid to do this. Shit. Shit. It's all good. It's all good. <laughs> it's full steam ahead. 
but at least Richie has remembered the flowers. Morning. Oh, they're really nice. Oh. Nice photographs of single man now, Richie. Make the most of this now. Just hope everything goes well today, you know what I mean? Nothing, no little silly things or nothing, but, you know, I'm not really worried. I'm just really looking forward to it now. Sabrina gets her first glimpse of things to come with the bridesmaids. Oh, my God! And is that Shifa? Yeah. 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 Oh, they're stunning. Oh, my God, I can't, I can't believe that. Yeah. <laughs> I can't believe it. Oh, oh yes, they're Just half an hour to I do, and finally, the wedding dress. <laughs> How are you? Oh, hey, come in, come in, come in. A late delivery for the bride, but early celebrations for the lads. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. <laughs> but right now for Sabrina, Nothing else matters. I never thought I'd see today, and I'd look like this. Can't cry because I'll ruin my makeup. I feel amazing, amazing. All oh, thanks to Richard. He's done every. He's all. Oh, he's done more than a fabulous job out of this world. You know how I feel about you and Sabrina. Yeah. Just enjoy today, and we have a new Mrs. Kelly today. Yeah. How does that look? Grant, does it already? Thank you. I love you. And now, here comes the bride. Yes, Roger! Yeah. Yeah. You should be after 19 years. Da, 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 da. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> and the groom is off on the most important mission of his life. So is Sabrina. Today, Brian is giving her away. Richie is closer than she thinks. What do you think? Oh, wow. I'm going to ask you the question. Are you ready to get married? OK, let's do it. <laughs> let's do it. <laughs> he might be giving Sabrina away, but Brian certainly isn't about to give away any secrets. So I have any idea where you're going. Brian, I haven't a clue. Literally haven't a clue. Sabrina, this is your church. <laughs> I knew it! Suck a collar. After 18 years, funny how three weeks can seem like a lifetime. Hi Richard. Thank you, Sabrina. As my wife. Better or worse? For Richard Papora. In sickness and in health. All the days of our lives. Sabrina, wear this ring as a sign of our faithful love. You're lucky. <laughs> wear this ring as a sign of our faithful love. I give you Mr. and Mrs. Kelly. <laughs> Finally, after 18 years, the deal is sealed. 
the sound you begin with. Loud left. Loud. Yeah. Loud. <laughs> I'm your wife now, Richard. I'm your wife. I have a husband. I was going to get for Jasmine's, but I hadn't got the time. Christine was going to do me. I just hadn't got the time. <laughs> I said, that's the surprise I give Richard <laughs> for Jasmine. Richie, where the hell are we going? I've never been up this way to a hotel. Oh, look at the front of it. <gasps> oh, I've never been up here. I thought you were finished crying. You told me you were finished crying. Don't cry, my eyelashes will fall off. <laughs> Told you, didn't I? Now she's about to discover just how big a gamble she took letting Richie organise her wedding. <laughs> I knew we'd have it! There's a few of them, is there? Yeah, yeah. Right, well, uh, him is James Bond Casino Royale. That's I knew it! <laughs> I knew it! I knew it! I knew it! Kind of thought he would do something with poker or something, but yeah. not as well as this. Yeah. It's sort of real classy and everybody looks fabulous and all the guys in the tuxedos, you know. I got a text from a friend of mine today in Bally James Duff and she said, congratulations because you've actually brought a bit of Hollywood glam to Bally James Duff. Yes! Everything I didn't want, he's done. And he's done it in a way that it's not real cheesy looking or, you know, it's still all classy and elegant and he's just really blown, blown me away. Wow. What do you think? <gasps> oh, it's stunning. Real difference. It's stunning. Oh, the cake! Ah! <laughs> oh, very good. Have a look. My name is Kelly, Mr. and Mrs. Kelly. I'm crying over cake. <laughs> <laughs> and just for today, James Bond gets the girl and his Aston Martin. As part of our team, it's more for me than you, I think. Photo wise, I have a DB9 for the day, which is an Aston Martin, the James Bond car. It's a car. Right? It's a car. It's not, it's not just a car. Alright, okay, <laughs> we'll go with it. Just for photographs. Beautiful. <laughs> Maybe one quick spin around the grounds. No donuts now, Richie. We're all jealous of the car. Oh, it was lovely. <laughs> what a loving the shot I think Richie was more impressed than Sabrina's. <laughs> that was whopper. <laughs> Please be upstanding and give a very warm welcome to your bride and groom. They said he was indecisive. Now, they're not so sure. Shocked as all, I think we've been so strong about deciding what he wanted and what he knew would work. Shocked me. Absolutely shocked me. He decided everything when it needed to be done. And I can't believe how calm he was. There's no way I would have been able to pull it off. I don't know how he's done this in three weeks. I really don't know how. Organising the wedding. Piece of piss, lads. <laughs> right? And Sabrina isn't the only one who's impressed. I don't think I could be prouder of my big brother than I am today. He's after just making Sabrina's life. He's after making it just perfect. James Bond himself couldn't have hatched a better plan of action. Well done, Richie. I'm so proud of him. He, he, he just put it all together. He, he did everything that, not only, not only what he wanted, but what Sabrina wanted. So what's Richie got left to look forward to? Conjugal rights. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm over the moon, man. I'm bleeding delighted. I just, I'm just still in shock. I can't believe it's actually after happening. Yeah. I think I'll wake up in the morning and go, God, I'm a married woman. And is there anything at all that Sabrina would do differently? Wouldn't change a thing, except the hovercraft. <laughs> what made you send me out on a hovercraft? Because it's bleed deadly, man. I'd love to do it. Not for you. Yeah. Not for me. Yeah, but you never do it like that, so I thought you might enjoy it. I don't like water. Strangle it. Love you, Mrs. Kelly. Mr. Kelly. Do tongues, no? Ah! We haven't done tongues all day, man. <laughs>